It's hard to believe that we're already in the month of February here in 2024. But we finished up January. I pulled the numbers to see what happened in Hamlin County in real estate for this month. So I'm going to share that with you now. For the entire month of January, we had 57 new homes that came on the market here in Hamlin County. 30 of those are already under contract and three of them have already sold. So they are closed out. We had 53 homes that went under contract during the entire month of January and we had 36 homes that sold. Now you're like, 36? That's not a whole lot. That's barely a house a day. You're right. January is typically our slowest month in terms of sales and closings because anything that's closing in January typically went under contract in December. And what did we have in December? We had Christmas. So a lot of times you're not going to have people out looking at homes. You're not going to have the same amount of activity that you do throughout the rest of the year. So January is typically a low closing month. Um, the average sales price on those homes that did close was $304,000. That's, that's a lot. Most of 2023, our average sales price was in the 270 to 80 mark. So to see it kind of tip over that 300 mark, I think is pretty significant. Average days on market was 81. The median sales price was 296750 and 39 days on the market. So the median 39 days on the market means most of the homes that go on the market are going to be listed under contract and sold within 39 to 40 days. If you're on the market for an extended period of time past 45 to 60 days, you really need to look at the pricing on your home and you may need to do like a reboot of it, so to speak, and get it back out in front of buyers. Now, 22 of the homes that sold out of the 36, they listed and sold within 60 days. So that's definitely the majority. Um, the home prices of the ones that sold range from $160,000 to $539,900. We had 42 price changes during the entire month of January with the average being $23,650. That's a pretty significant price drop. And the homes that had price decreases had been on the market for an average of 114 days. So like I have said so many times, if you don't price your home properly when you put it on the market, if you don't get it ready to go on the market, you're going to end up sitting on the market for an extended period of time and having to do a significant rate reduction in order to get buyers back interested in your home to get it under contract. We did have seven homes that were under contract that for whatever reason fell out, have went back on the market. Two of those are back under contract already. Currently we have 92 homes that are active and available uh, for purchase. We have 90 homes in Hamlin County that are currently under contract. So that's a pretty balanced market when your under contracts and your actives are that close together. Now, when I say there's 92 homes on the market, for most people, there's only about 50 homes on the market. And I say that because we have 51 homes that are currently priced at $350,000 and below. The rest of them are $350,000 and up. Most people are not going to be able to afford a $350,000 home. That does significantly reduce the amount of inventory that we have when you're looking at the average home buyer can only afford two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand dollar house. So the numbers on the total active can be deceiving sometimes because we do have a lot of the higher end homes that are on the market right now. To compare January of 2024 to last year, uh, for the total month last year we had 42 new listings that came on the market. So several more new listings this year. We had 44 homes that closed last January. The average sales price was $239.5. That is a huge difference between that and January of 2024. Average days on the market last year was 69. The median sales price was $248,000 with 50 days on the market. The median time on the market has definitely come down, um, but average and median sale prices have increased quite a bit. So if you're a seller and you're sitting there going, okay, so what does that mean for me? Well, it means that if you thought you missed the boat by not selling in 2023, 
I'm going to say you probably didn't. Um, if homes right now, the average sales price is you know fifty thousand dollars higher than it was last year, that doesn't necessarily mean your home increased by fifty thousand dollars in value. But if you're curious to know, okay, if I want to sell my home this year, what do I need to do to get started? I'm having a seller success seminar on February the twentieth here at the Remax office. We'll start at 5.30, we'll run until about 7 o'clock. I will have some refreshments for you. Um, and we're going to talk about some of those things, how to know how to price your home, how to get your home ready to sell, why you need a professional photographer. A lot of the questions that sellers ask me on a regular basis, we're going to talk about. So if you want to reserve your seat, we're going to have a link in the comments. Be sure you go there, register, reserve your spot, because we will have very limited seating at this event.